Next is the Harbor Ridge. Neighborhood view. A lot of royal palms. This is the subject house. 3,000 square feet. Four bedrooms or three plus ten. On the freshwater lake. Coming up you'll see an entry fountain. As soon as I get the sun corrected here. There we go. Coming up to the entry of the house. Eastern exposure. Right now it is uh, four o'clock in the afternoon, so you'll see you'll see where the afternoon sun is. And here we'll enter the house. Let's readjust the light here. Okay, it's a split floor plan. We've got the guest rooms on this side of the house. Behind there is the kitchen. The guest rooms. The master's behind me. Formal dining room in the front of the house. Got travertine floors throughout. Front bedroom could be a den. So it's either three in a den or four. Current configuration uses is at four. This is a large, like 14 by 15 bedroom. You notice the 10 foot sliding doors, which pocket. Powder room is a full bath, tiled shower. We'll go back to see a little bit of the view. It's a gorgeous view. See the lake out there. No water skiers right now, but you water ski, you can tube, you can fish, you can jet ski. 14 foot ceilings, crown molding into the master. Look at the view. Gorgeous water view, freshwater lake. And then across the street is the saltwater canal that goes to the Gulf of Mexico. It takes 30 minutes. So you take your boat out of this big lake, uh, trailer it across the street to where the subdivision has a uh, boat library and uh, docks, and go to the Gulf of Mexico. Here is a uh, designer bathroom, dual sinks, antique tub, again up to the 14, 16 foot ceilings, and uh, tile walls. Linen closet here. Actually, a walk in closet. There we go. Walk in closet. Goes around the corner. That's one of two walk in closets. The big one is here. Goes back 12 feet. And you can see that the uh, master exits onto the lanai. We'll go through to the kitchen now, through the family room. Now we're entering the kitchen, Korean countertops.
white cabinets, microwave, open on the top, and then look at the view. Family room here, fireplace. Kitchen. And mitered window, mitered glass window. Overlooking the lanai. There's a pool bath out here. And propane barbecue. And look at the view. Here's the spa. We're four steps down, five steps down to the pool. Pool is gated, protected for the grandkids. Look over the pool to the lake and take into view the floating dock. Floating dock is situated so that you can dive off of it. Uh, water is very deep, 15, 20 feet deep. And there's a saw, of course. As you can see, one of the boys of the solemn course in the water. This is the windows to the master, the door from the master, the upper lanai, doors to the family room or to the living room. That's the kitchen dinette area, and the doors to the family room. We'll go take a look at the garage and the guest rooms. Down the hall to the guest rooms. Guest room number one. These again are big rooms. This is a king size bed. Again, we got 14 foot ceilings. This was a builder's residence, uh, but was never occupied by the builder. The purchasers, or the sellers purchased the property from the builder before he moved in. Jack and Jill bath for the guest rooms. Tile shower. Tub. This bedroom's got twin beds, but of course again it's big enough for king. Okay. This room's probably thirteen by fifteen with fourteen foot ceilings. Here we have recipe desk. This is off the kitchen. The kitchen is that door to the right, right there. That's our pantry. I believe it's a walk-in pantry. Yeah. Here's our walk-in pantry. Great view, great feeling of volume. Back again to the recipe desk, and now we're on our way to the garage. Got the uh, laundry room, a lot of storage, tall, tall, tall ceilings, washer and dryer, laundry tub over there. To the garage, there are one, two, three, four, five steps down to the garage, two car garage with extra storage on either side. It's a side entry garage so that the garage door is not facing the street. And that's the Harborage. Not too many places in Florida where you can water ski. No alligators. Enjoy!